Hey guys, welcome back. Building big with City Skylines. This is episode 38. I'm Enigmius, and today the prognosis is not good. <laughs> we could fix it. We, we could fix it. We're, we're not going to be starting over uh, anytime soon, but it, it, we need to fix some things, and, and there's a certain amount of urgency around getting it done now before we get any deeper uh, because it's. The, it, we didn't exactly accommodate everything as well as I, I kind of hoped that we might. We're going to start off uh, looking at policies because I had actually uh, only really enacted one prior to just recently since the last episode, and that was smoke detector distribution, basically giving all of our, our citizens free smoke detectors. There was a cost associated with it, but it's part of the reason why we haven't really had too much difficulty uh, from fire. And that was all we really did. But then I went around and decided that we wanted to try and um, urge population growth. You see, there was I had this feeling that maybe the reason why our growth had actually gone down was because we, we weren't doing enough to, to stimulate it. So I did the parks and recreation thing so that land value went up a little bit. It cost us some, but not hugely. Uh, recreational use, uh, I dabbled enough <laughs> as a young man. Uh, you know, I don't judge... And it was one of those things where it seems like, yeah, you know what, give people a criminal record or find them or, or whatever over something like that. Just don't stand on the street corner doing it like a dumbass. Uh, the big one was I gave everybody free public transport. This is just since the last episode. Uh, everyone can use the bus for free. Kind of expensive, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I haven't changed anything with regards to taxes. And I, uh, I did a little industrial space planning so that now we get double the amount of goods from our industrial buildings, oil, ore, trees. Seemed like a good idea at the time. And then we added the high-tech housing as well. Uh, smart homes, slightly increased land value, bit of a cost attached to that, but still not bad. Like I say, everything except for the smoke detector distribution stuff that I added since the last episode, it seems to have helped somewhat. We took a really big hit for a little while to our weekly income, but then it leveled out very, very quickly. Since then, uh, getting a lot of abandoned buildings and I look into them and try and figure out why they're abandoned. And it's pretty much always the same reason abandoned, low density commercial. And you say, why are you abandoned? Because there were no goods to sell, which is. Uh, a thing and I actually had to go and, and check and see specifically what that indicated because we've got oil that we're producing and we've got trees that we're doing stuff with and we've got uh, ore that we're extracting and we're refining and we're doing all these things with all these materials how can we not have goods to sell and one of the things that I came across is that it's likely something to do with traffic you're not getting uh, things to and from your commercial buildings fast enough so that they can keep up with the demand. They run out of materials, they've got nothing to do, they close the doors because they've got no work. Even though the materials are there and they're just stuck in transit. <laughs> so we had to take a look at our uh, traffic situation, a big part of it. We'll start this up and let it go because you can't really gauge what's going on with traffic uh, unless vehicles are moving. This train station down here is just permanently busy. Like, it's permanently got traffic flowing. So I went around, and you, you may have noticed since the last episode, there are a number of changes. There's all kinds of overpasses and bypasses and around passes and, and you know, spiral passes. I don't even... Stop burning down buildings. I just put a fire department over there, too. I mean, you can see... All this traffic coming out of the train station. So I sat there and I basically watched it. I said, okay, well, where are all these vehicles trying to go after they leave the train station? And it turns out that they were mostly uh, heading back this way towards the in industrial areas down here. A lot of them heading over the bridge. So I said, okay, well, one of the things that we'll do is we'll make a bypass. Rather than sending them through all of these intersections and all the way around here with all these intersections across there... We'll just do a quick bypass over and around, and that helped a lot of it. You can actually see now we get occasional backups around the train station, but for example, you look at here now, there's no congestion at all in this area where the vehicles are entering and exiting from. So that helped to some extent. And then I came up here, and I looked at all these intersections along here, and I said, that's no good. If we've got vehicles that are trying to uh, exit the train station, really go anywhere, and they don't actually have to be passing through all these intersections, 
we're probably going to get some vehicles through the traffic network a little bit faster. So I made this overpass that's basically right on the edge of the river and brought it down and around so that it skips the overwhelming majority of these intersections while preserving this part here so that if vehicles are trying to get to these roads down here, it'll be easy for them to do that too. They, they will have to endure the intersections, but we've got the bypass, so if they don't need to, they don't have to. I noticed also I had to go around and, and fix some bus routes. And when I say some, I mean several. <laughs> Just changing roads around, we've seen this before. Uh, if you interrupt uh, what was previously a bus route by bulldozing part of the road that would comprise part of the route, it just goes crazy. It goes, it does all kinds of redundant loops and, and extra, you know, routes and all these other silly things. When I was going around straightening some of those, I found out that these two roads here were unintentionally one way. So I clicked the wrong button or I wasn't thinking when I placed them. So there was part of the traffic problem right there was expecting to have two way roads and they weren't didn't exactly help the industry either in here so we fixed that now I came over here and what actually prompted me to get down to the business of resolving the bus routes is the traffic around the bridge like here it looks it's pretty backed up like it's backed up all the way to the highway it was way worse when I first started looking over here so as usual you set it up to run fast and then you kind of zoom in and you take a look and try and figure out what was going on and I noticed there was this constant stream of buses coming across the bridge and then they would stop right here and then they would go and then they would stop right here and then they would go and they would stop right here and I was like what the hell is going on so I checked the transit and it was actually registering that there were bus stops on the bridge so the buses are coming across and they continued through the highway here as well they were stopping on the highway you can't even make a bus stop on the highway if you want to there had to be some sort of glitch at play in order to make it happen but this highway here uh, also had a bunch of bus stops on it and that's why the traffic was going crazy so we redid all the transit around this area so that we could get rid of those fake stops and this is what we're left with pretty much very very congested still and it, it's one of those things where I'm kind of looking at it and I'm thinking if it weren't for all the abandoned buildings saying that we're commercial and we don't have any goods to sell I would think that this was okay congested but manageable certainly not the kind of thing that's going to hold us back but our population is on the decline again after we set uh, all of the different new policies and after we got rid of this area here with the congestion around the train station the population went right back up to where it was and I was very happy and optimistic and it came back and it went to hell again <laughs> it just on the decline you can see I added uh, another bypass here. It's a highway, kind of goes up and over. It had to make this little jog here because this is where we've got the entrance to our transit tower. And it wouldn't go over top, so I had to make it go over and then like that so that it would fit and work. And you can see it's getting good use. These are all vehicles that have said, I don't want anything to do with this long six lane road and all of its intersections. I want to just skip right past it. But then it gets backed up at the traffic circle. So it's not ideal and the same thing here we built this bypass that goes over again vehicles leaving the train station that kind of want to come up here and then go around here and then down and then up and over they can bypass all of the intersections along here you know we're, we're getting some use from it vehicles are using it which indicates that it's useful but we're still not handling things as well as I might like so this is actually where it gets kind of interesting for me because if it's just laying everything out and it always works the first time whenever you put whatever you want it gets a little bit dull after a while because all you're doing is basically stamping stuff all over the place you don't have to pay attention to anything you don't really have to think about anything it's it's when you think you have it under control and it just goes to crap that's when we get to sit down and go into problem solving mode and sort of decide what we're gonna do next in order to correct the situation. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be assuming that all of my different zones, my industrial zones, my residential zones, uh, all of my major roadways, everything that I've built up to this point is subject to destruction while we correct the things that aren't working with our city. You can see down here we've got a steady supply of traffic going through our silly uh, traffic circle. I wish I could blame this on the whole thing, but I can't. You can see the vehicles slow down on their way up and around because they have to turn left a couple times, but there's no congestion behind it that suggests that this is part of the problem. We're going to keep this sw switchback hill because that is just uh, so much fun. 
It was fun making it, and it's fun looking at working after the fact. We have to keep close eye on it, but it's a, it's a highway, so I mean, if it's not feeding traffic fast enough now, it's not going to. We have to put in another harbor or something. But this was the first sort of highway part that we ever put in that extends down here, and you can see we still left a stub that we were going to continue down into here. And then we've got this branching off over into here, and then we've got all these bridges. These two bridges are ones that I just added since the last episode, again, to try and relieve congestion, th thinking maybe some of the vehicles would be heading over this, way to, over this way to cross this bridge and then come over that way. It didn't seem like it would make sense to make them do that, so we put on the bridges. They don't care. They don't. It wasn't that big of a deal for them. We've got the train bridge has more traffic going over it than these two bridges here, so those are probably going to go away. And we're going to focus on maximum traffic density flowing to key areas in our city. And those key, key areas, which may include moving the train stations, are the train stations, the harbors, uh, the central industrial areas. So like this whole area in here is just cranking out industrial stuff. Like there's all kinds of stuff being produced here and we need to account for that uh, and accommodate it with our traffic network. And then we can think about expanding because like I said if we start expanding now with what we've got eh, it's just gonna get worse until everything look at this another building has burnt down we never had this problem but now all the abandoned buildings all over the place buildings burning down all over the place we've got exceptional fire coverage but stuff keeps burning down there's another one on fire or burnt down there's a fire department right down here somewhere that I just placed and stuff is still burning down. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know there's one there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do that between episodes because it's very tedious. It's very, very tedious and it's not the kind of thing that uh, I would want to watch just because it's so tedious. But the next episode, we should have it done and fixed and ready to move on. We'll do a brief overview of the changes that I've made. Everything should look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organized, and a little less like this with all the congestion we've got lights on the bridge look at that it's just lunacy down here we need to get that sorted and then we'll be able to move on so it's kind of a short video just explaining to you what i've done since the last episode to try and fix the problem and what it leads us to in order to properly fix it and also uh showing you the the whole thing about the transit and the bus stops on the bridge and extending to the highway was just kind of mind-boggling but part of the decision and pro you know problem solving process uh, was finding those and fixing them because if we hadn't found them and fixed them we would still have the problem and it was kind of a big one with the buses stopping in the middle of the bridge and traffic stopping with them so might be useful for some people additionally might be useful seeing how we solve all this crap this gigantic mess that we've made for ourselves and we're going to do that and then we'll do the next episode and hopefully we'll hit the next milestone so we can think about ruining everything with an airport if you want to be notified when I add that episode, as always, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on social media. Links for social media are always in the information box below the video. Please leave your comments and feedback. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.